Hello, Cancer. We are going to do a reading for the month of September. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. The air just kicked on. Okay, Cancer. Like I said, I hope y'all are doing well. We're going to do, um, see what is, see what's done. We already got a card coming out really first. Oh, I feel like somebody is um, trying to take advantage of you, uh, Cancer. Or if you're a man or a woman, it don't matter. Um, five of Fire and the Nave of Fire came out. Could be that somebody's trying to um, leverage your sexual energy for children. That's wild, y'all. But I mean, like, this, hey, the last time we seen some of these astrological transits was back in, what, 2018? 2008 is significant, the 1700s. I don't think any of us here, you know, in this particular reading was <laughs> around unless you believe in that stuff. I don't know. But the lovers, so we got Gemini energy coming out in the reverse, okay? So it could be that a Gemini uh, Cancer is, uh, or, or it could be that you know a Gemini and a Cancer is reversing things in this Gemini's life, or it could be that someone has cancer in the third house, Gemini in the fourth. Um, but this lovers, I feel like maybe there hasn't really been a lot of affection and or um, it feels like emotional um, vulnerability in your connections. I feel like a lot of people have been lying to you, cancer, or being dishonest or withholding information to get you to go somewhere. I do feel energy, yeah, the three of water in the reverse. It could be that you are, you have been kind of going places that I feel like if you were in your right state of mind, you wouldn't have went there. Now here with this uh, strength and King of Fire coming out in the reverse, I do feel the energy of a grandmother spirit. Actually, I've been feeling a lot of grandmother spirits in my readings lately, and I know they're not just personal to me because some of them look different. They feel different. They sound actually some of them are way more funnier than the, the than the <laughs> I grew up with. So I know I just find myself like really, really laughing. But this Leo energy, I feel like is um, wanting you to take control of your own life um, in the month of September. It could be there's a lot of people controlling you, trying to team up on you, gang up on you. Oh, I feel somebody here can say, oh, we got a little tea coming out here. Now, normally I don't touch on this kind of stuff, but I feel like someone's um, married secret is coming out. Um, oh, maybe somebody here had a baby with a married man. I don't know. What's going on? What's going on? It's a lot of reversals coming out in your um green cancer. So I feel like there's a lot of people that's just kind of around you because they don't want their negative karma to come to the surface. But this king of fire, I feel like you're activating, um, I feel like you're activating a deeper connection to nature. Um, I feel like somebody here around you, um, there's a lot of either either this is a married married women around you if you're a man or this is married men around you if you're a woman that um they're only dealing with their spouse to get access to you yeah it's like um seven of earth oh interesting it's like they see you as a money cash cow Virgo energy could be significant here Taurus Virgo Capricorn Cancer Scorpio Pisces uh isn't it just, it's just a lot of interesting energies here because you know what we don't have is air <laughs> there is no elemental air wow it's so crazy it could be cancer that somebody's trying to push um maybe an air sign out of your life or maybe push an air sign away from you maybe you have been at distance interesting i feel like there's a lot of energy work that's happening in the month of september that's really going to show you the truth about who people really are it's like somebody is overly focused on like tearing down somebody that, um, I don't know, it's like you're not believing their lies anymore, or maybe you've already started to wake up to the truth. I feel like this, these people want you to not have a way out. They really just, I'm seeing like a man, two women trying to um, tear a man apart. Doesn't really feel, this deck that I'm using, I'm not showing the images, but this deck that I'm using is more so like, um, uh, geared around those energies where someone is trying to take advantage of somebody i heard alcohol and then i heard some drugs so maybe somebody tried to um you know put some in your drink cancer or someone did i just baby it's a whole lot going on in this cancer reading honey and a lot of it is truly um i feel like a lot of it has to do with money like it's it's like somebody is trying to um trick you or trap you 
I heard Florida, somebody transferring to Florida or transferring. High priest is in the reverse. Or maybe somebody is trying to go somewhere for some information. Someone could be just trying to block you off from like a very beautiful thought or download. Um, that's interesting. So that interesting things coming out here. <laughs> it could be that you're just going through some very interesting timelines, Cancer. And in the month of September, it's almost as if like, so y'all know how slingshot, bam, that's what it is. It's almost as if like, Someone's trying to cast a slingshot on your universe, but the month of September is just going to them like back in the head. Cause like, honey, it's like, it's like somebody wants you to be caught up in the dirt that they do because they like, oh, okay, like it'll be better. You know, I'll feel better about myself if like, here, let's use some examples, y'all. Cause like, y'all know I love to give like real world examples. Money is sticking to us right now. Let's stack this money together, honey. Okay, so it kind of like, and I think this, we're just going to call this cancer after dark. This segment. So say cancer, like, you got a friend, right? And your friend married, and they like, they fucking around on their husband, they fucking around on their wife. It's almost as if, like, these retrogrades are so weird <laughs> this time. Because it sounds as like, okay, in order for me to feel better about what I'm doing, like, I need you to do it too. So, you know, birds of a feather flock together, that, that old saying, I guess how it goes. Or say like, you know, cancer, like you ready to elevate your career. You trying to like preserve your energy, preserve your peace. Cause y'all, this is cancer. Cancer plays in this love to be in the house. I'm not sure where um, society has got it twisted. Like cancers like to be outside, like all the time. Like my cancer in readings are normally very rich of like things that y'all are doing to, um, build your home, build your foundation, your career, that boring stuff, you know, like don't nobody want to, don't nobody really want to be bored right now. Like they want to be outside. They want to turn up. They want to party. Everybody feel like the world is ending. Notice I said everybody because everybody may feel like the world is ending. However, I feel like your ancestral team cancer for the month of September, they want you to really ask yourself, is it ending or is it shifting? And when energies are shifting as opposed to ending, it's a big, it's a, you know, who gonna, what's going to be present on the other side of that. So really take care of yourself, really protect yourself. I feel like in the month of September, because there's a lot of, I feel like high level, high level, honey, I feel like high level authority that um you don't want. I feel like someone here you don't want. This could be a promotion. This could be uh your business uh, propelling and taking off overnight. This could be the dynamic even of your relationship or your marriage changing. Uh, I feel like somebody's trying to like, this doesn't feel like negative karma. You know how some people say like, oh, they're trying to like put their karma off on you. This truly just feels like somebody is trying to trap you to do something that would, um, oh, wow, this is messy. I don't know who who's this is because this is cancer. This is generally, it's like somebody's trying to trap you to do something to, um, it's like somebody wants you to cheat on somebody, whether this is a person, a test, especially tests, y'all really be careful okay with who saturn being retrograde and pisces uh if anybody just wants some generous advice today those group study projects may become very individual study projects and that's just because uh you know the pluto cap aqua dance back and forth we've been experiencing this year because it's like somebody wants you to cheat on something or to do something wrong or to do something um that would trip you up but not trip them up. But so I feel like somebody here, if it has to do with like paperwork or approval or documents, I feel like you're good. Yo, I feel like there's somebody that's conscious of what's going on in your universe. It could be somebody watching out for you. It could be a mentor. Okay, Cancer. Um, Now in terms of love, it feels really, really messy because it feels like somebody's trying to get you to cheat. So you could just be, this is the thing, y'all, people ain't trying to get people to cheat nowadays anymore just because it's those two persons, it's third parties. Um, fourth, y'all have to think, um, back in this time period, you know, they monogamy wasn't as structural. However, there were still monogamous couples. 
still monogamous ish. So this may be a monogamy thing. Health and longevity. I feel like your angels is really bringing a lot of universal medicine, um, elevation of the soul, and you revealing mysteries. I have cancer. I feel like a lot of people getting sealed off from your energy in the month of um in the month of September, there's definitely some traitors around you that are destroying your plans. <laughs> I want to make this clear. This reading definitely feels like there are people destroying your plans. And the month of September is almost like your your ancestors, your spirit team is like, I can't see you now. We're glad you're up to speed. It's something about your um spirit team has wanted you to be up to speed. You may not really have been seeing things move very fast. You may be getting attacked. Um it's the courts. I feel like somebody just trying to stay around you so they don't um get in any legal trouble. Uh, I do also feel like those of you guys that resonate with that part of the reading, your relationship with God really evolving, getting deeper. I also feel like your relationship with yourself, when you really like, you know, understand that you play a big role in bringing your uh, manifestations and your desires to the surface. Uh, I feel like people are gossiping about you, Cancer, but listen, your spirit team really wants you to focus on this priestess energy um i will say if you are single as a pringle okay your spirit team just want you to have a little bit more patience um trust your intuition be honest with yourself about what it is that you want in love um maybe you were honest about what you want in love and that triggered some type of fear triggered some type of emotion in someone else to go do something that they're not proud of because I feel like someone here has done something that they're not proud of cancer not in a like in a bit y'all we was talking about this in Gemini and I'm just like okay not in a big way but in a way that just like I feel like they're blaming themselves more than you could be blaming them we have I can't make this baby by myself powerful couple powerful love healing a divine feminine energy if you are in a relationship, there's more intimacy and openness, okay? That's making your relationship as strong as it can be. I do feel like um, spell work is real. Uh, Y'all have to understand also about this transit. There's things that can happen in the actual that could wipe people out that don't even get to the physical. Like, just say some of the things we talked about here. Like, if you know, you constantly feel like you, you know, being redirected or distracted or rerouted from what truly is for you then you, your morale gets low, like your determination gets low. And it feels like there's just somebody that really just wants you to be low on a lot of energies here um, in terms of your career. This could be your financial situation. I do feel like it is time for you to keep your financial situation private. Um, I, I feel a little um, karma with that financial situation. I feel like somebody is watching you, Cancer, maybe speculating about what you have. This is the thing that I've learned about um, social media as a career income business. A lot of people assume, and I, when I say a lot, I, I genuinely mean a lot. Just because you show up and do something doesn't mean that there's an immediate reward. Always the case. Just think, even if you're working in like corporate America or international corporate international, cause I don't know what it's called over there. Like you go to work on time, unless you got daily pay, you go to work for so many days and then you get your, you get your check, whether it's in paper, direct deposit. Um, but when it comes to social media in the spaces, I've, I've found that people are starting to get a little bit more um, trapped in an illusion that like somebody shows up and does something online and they're immediately getting a big payout. That could be the case for somebody, but I feel like cancer here, like you're really just trying to build some type of library it feels like build something that is going to be beneficial one day and a lot of people are um uh, you know just trying to get you to not be professional um that's that's you know, that's sad but hey you know time for free upgrades booking a weekend getaway okay cancer all right so <laughs> passion at 1800 passion to theos Okay, any mess other messages for Cancer for the month of September? We have our love story is far from over, okay, Cancer? Embarrassed by my actions. There it is coming out there, so... um, And don't give up hope. Don't let nobody tear you down. Listen, that's if you're a man or a woman. 
or younger. Shit, like really trust your intuition in this season, Cancer, because it's like yo, your ancestors is really showing you like the lengths that somebody would go to or somebody's. Because I feel like these are a lot of people that are close to you. The lengths that they'll go to to um snatch your not only your peace for you, but what you are healing, what you are working towards. This does feel like some type of um, you know. We'll just say sorcery. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.